All right, so today we're gonna tackle this apple tree here. So if you haven't watched my pear tree video, uh, you gotta go back and check that out. So I probably won't go over every little detail here because you've already seen it in the last video and it would be redundant. So we're just gonna dive into this thing here and do some custom pruning and do it the Espliar way. Yep, go back and check out that one too because I know that that is wrong. So here we go. Sharp pruners. And these are pointing towards the sky, like I said in my last video. So I'm going to try and encourage it to come out. So what I want it to do is get away from the plant. Now this one's crossing here. So I'm actually just going to cut it clear back. And anything that's already pretty much horizontal, I'm going to leave it. If it's facing towards the sidewalk, because there's actually a sidewalk here between the tree and the street. So I will try and encourage it to go towards the sidewalk, but not over the sidewalk. And this one here is growing straight up. I don't want anything that's growing straight up. Uh, that one's pretty good. So a little one crossing here, one growing straight up. I've been pruning these trees. I planted these trees right after we moved here 10 years ago. So I would say 10 years I've been pruning these. And they have done very well. These are all semi-dwarfs. This one here is a four-in-one apple, unlike my pear, which is a five-in-one pear. So I don't know what the varieties are. I think there's a red delicious, yellow or golden delicious. And I did see one tag here. That's the yellow delicious. There's a tag on here somewhere that has another, like Fiji, I think maybe. And I don't know what the last one is. But anyway, so you can kind of see what we got going on there. Zoom you in a little bit here. So I've got those two cut. This one here actually was growing straight up. The other one will also come off because it's this one will come off. It's growing back across itself, and I don't want it to do that. This one here is growing up. And as a matter of fact, I'm going to take that one clear off. There's a little bit of dead wood in it. Probably won't focus good enough to show that, but there is dead wood in there. And then here also, there's one here that is growing up. So I pruned it. This is an outward facing bud right here. So now it should in theory grow across like this. They'll all want to grow towards the sun. That's what they like. So we're gonna prune on this a little bit. We're gonna make it shorter than the pear video. And when I think there's something I need to show you, I'll bring you back. Otherwise, we're going to go for it. Stand by. I don't know if you can see this spot or not, but it's got a lot going on here. We have them going up and crossing them each other. So we're going to try and get in here and get some of this stuff cut off. This is going almost completely straight up. This one here is also, and it's just in a really hard spot. And it's also growing back into itself. We have another small one growing up, another one there. We got way too much business going on on this side. We just got a whole bunch of them. We're taking them off. 
I said it's really tight in here. All right, got one growing up. Take it there. Outside bud, take it there. This one here, I'm gonna take completely off. I'll do it in two cuts. All right, that's looking a lot better. Are you there? All right, so this is looking a lot better. There's, there's still a lot going on here. It is amazing how well these trees come back every year. Like I said in the last video, they they got their own way of growing. And it's not the way that I want them to grow. So I am encouraging them to grow the Espliar way. That's pretty good for right now. The smaller buds, you can just kind of knock them off by hand. And that'll prevent them from growing. This tree's got a big mind of its own. It has got so much new growth from last year. All these smaller ones I'm picking off is growth from last year. All right, that looks better. bring you in a little bit here and you can kind of see what I've done there that's the one that went straight up I will cut that back a little bit more I'll get it back to this branch down lower because you can see it's there's still a bud there looks like it might try to bud there but anyway I thought that was kind of an interesting spot to stop and show you so if I find another one I'll bring you back just a minute I'm going to show you here. This one is growing pretty much straight up. And I'm going to leave this one. There's a couple right here I'm going to leave. I'll probably take that one that you can't see off. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this right here. So I took that much off. And then I'm going to leave that one. But I think I'll cut this one here because there's a downward facing bud there and I definitely don't want these sorry if I'm blocking the view here but I think I'll keep that little one which is right here off of it and this one I will also do a downward facing bud it's a little bit crossing but again I don't want to get too wild with it each year I'll take a little bit off in different spots to make up for it and then up here if you can see these these are actually grape canes and I will probably I will look at that but I'm probably gonna cut those off because they're growing under the apple tree so just over here to the right left sorry just over here to the left that is my post and I want them to stop pretty much right in the middle of the post. This one I might leave because it's far enough away from the apple tree. But that's my next project. It'll be the grapes. Again, a lot of this upward facing stuff. I just really don't want that. Get that one off of there. This is really starting to look a lot better on this side. I've got a few yet. And then we'll go on the inside. I got more upward facing ones over there because they're more reaching for the light over there. All right. Bring you back in a bit. Well, we got her done. It took me about 30 minutes. Give you a little run down here. You know, there's still a couple standing up there, but that's all right. As long as I don't have too many of them. So this whole tree looks a whole lot better. 
again, you know, I might come out here in the next few days and go, wow, I really missed that. And then I'll just get the pruners out and hit her again. I've got that one pruned off over there by the end of the post. I did get my grapes cut back. I have a cherry tree there and I am not gonna prune it this year. I will do a very light prune on it. It has been struggling to get cherries on it, so I'm just gonna leave it and see what happens.